What's up, folks? This is Crypto with James talking to you today about Sologenic. Uh, the airdrop is complete. The distribution is complete. So we're going to take a look at that. Um, before I do, as always, update the spreadsheet. The first 26 coins I spoke about on the channel. Bloody ontology back in the road. Um, had you invested 100 bucks into each one of these before I released the videos and you're still holding those bags? You'd be in profit for over 53 grand. This, however, is no longer my portfolio. If you want to see what I'm in, come check out Copy My Cryptos, where I share my portfolio, uh, talk through the markets, talk through the next investments, the next things I'm going to be doing. 2021 was fantastic. Long-term investments did exceptionally well. Uh, quick flips did exceptionally well. And to be fair, airdrops were beautiful. Um, if you want to be a part of that, make those gains, match myself and the members, then come check out Copy My Cryptos, where I share my well, links in the description, and it's where I share my portfolio. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Sologenic, right? This was a massive airdrop, one of the biggest we've seen, really, um, in terms of in terms of the amount of general money that entered the market. Um, not quite on uh, Uniswap's level, and it certainly won't be anywhere close to like what Pulse Chain are doing, um, but. <clears throat> There were 327,896 transactions that were executed that took around about sort of 108 hours. Um, <clears throat> it's also brought the new circulating supply to 399 million. So really, coin market cap got to sort themselves out. Um, during the distribution, there were a few uh, that lacked a proper trust line set. Uh, and this caused the system to not be able to complete the transfer. Um, they will retry distribution, um, but all complete. So right now, when you're looking at um, basically 400 million knocking about uh, with a price point of 44 cents, you know, you're looking at around about $196 million. <clears throat> um, so decent size market cap. And what Sologenic is, if you're unfamiliar, is a tokenization of stocks. This is something I'm bullish on fundamentally from a long-term perspective. You know, when we look at um, the problems with the stock market or the problems with um, securities, or whatever it is, there are a number of problems for your average person. You've got the, the amount of middlemen and as a result, the fees that accrue from entering into the stock market and making trades. You know, a lot of these places charge 5% per trade, staggering money, right? So you end up, that ends up taking a pretty big chunk out of your profit down o across time. So tokenization of assets is a very, very cool idea. Um, it's not necessarily unique. We are this this market is um, fairly prevalent now. We are really we've really seen a sort of a number of these tokenized assets start entering the space. Um, you know, FTX has a number of these where you can get like tokenized Tesla. I think is it Mirror Protocol as well, where there's a ton of um, tokenized stocks. Um, so you're looking at bro now. Their goal is basically that you can trade uh, ETFs, commodities from over 30 stock exchanges around the world. Um, you know, they're going to effectively be set up, prop even though they're DEX, even though it's a DEX, it's going to be built, or Sologenic DEX, even though it's going to be built with this centralized exchange sort of feel to it. As you can see, there's an order book and everything else. <clears throat> now, I personally like that. Um, you know, that's the kind of thing uh, that we're, we've seen a couple versions of it online. I don't think any have been amazing, but they're definitely improving. Um, their ecosystem is, you know, impressive in what their, their intentions are. You know, tokenized asset trading is a big bit. And then they've got tokenized bro brokerage solution for financial institutions. Um, and then obviously their tokenized uh, the tokenized assets for the DEX or the DEX itself. Um, now, when you look at the roadmap 
for uh, Sologenic. So what? I don't know why my browser things disappeared. I've got to get back to using Brave. Um, so they're pending the MIFID license for launch of Sologenic Live Securities Trading Platform. Solo Wallet uh, app update and Sologenic Dex web app. Uh, they're looking at being able to be available as of March 2021. Although if you go here, we'll see if they've got the Dex up and running. Uh, so it is on mainnet. Yep, so the Dex is up and running. Now when we actually look in terms of uh yeah tradable assets we're not looking at tons you know solo usd yeah so it's not great yet um but you know that comes with time so this is one that i like the layout i like i like a dex that appears as a, a centralized exchange i think centralized exchange is a lot nicer to trade on I want to see an order book. I always want to see an order book when I'm placing trades. So I like that. Um, so they've already got that up and running for mainnet. So the next step really is for the assets as well. Uh, Dex integration in, in the solo uh, wallet app is on the cards as well. Um, you know, this is pretty good. Pretty good. And that was, these are still in development. I mean, you know they're gonna they're gonna be coming. We've got some level of it already done. You know March twenty twenty one, April twenty twenty one. So some of these have been done, right? But some of them are still to come. Now one thing that I really, really, really am bullish on, like I said, is the tokenization of assets. So tokenizing assets on demand is going to allow people to, um to start being able to um, trading through Sologenic. Like I said, the issue here is you've got a ton of competition knocking about, so it's being better than the rest. That's the goal. Um, an ecosystem that's growing, the, the, because it's built on XRP, it's gonna be exceptionally fast. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing that play out as well you know when you look at the actual explorer for solo um you can see the uh, the speed of transactions as well so um you know they, this this is one that there's definitely a lot um to like you know just check any transaction hash and you can see the speed of it um or you can certainly see the fee and the fee is goddamn small and that bodes well. You know, when you're using a DEX, you want really small fees as well. Uh, you know, we've, we've seen with Uniswap, the fees are quite high. We've seen even with PancakeSwap at times, the fees have been high. It's a lot better now, but that's probably a sign that we're not getting tons of trading volume comparatively to what we used to. Um, Sologenic is aspirational. Uh, trading tokenized stocks bodes really well because fundamentally as well what we will see with trading tokenized stocks is a 24-hour ecosystem that makes things a bit more bloody interesting because also it means you know you've got an opportunity to get in and buy an asset that's you know you're not going to own any asset that's the an important thing people need to remember just because you own a tokenized version of tesla does not mean you own tesla i don't know why anyone want to friggin own tesla anyway but <laughs> It doesn't mean you own Tesla. It means you own a token pegged to the price of Tesla. Um, but the idea of opening up um, the opportunity for trading for your average person that wants to be in the stock market but can't be in the stock market because of fees or because of complexity with dealing with multiple middlemen or just even one trading hand that you've got to use. Um, this this actually opens the door for a lot of people. It also opens the door for institutions in terms of a potential solution to continue trading pegged assets outside of finan 
constrained times. I mean, it does mean that they'd have to look at how sort of the permissions that they have, because there are trading hours for a reason, but it does make things bloody interesting. Now, I think the decks here could be exceptionally successful. I, re I really do. As, like, I'm seeing variations of uh, DEXs with centralized exchange order books and stylings, and they look good. You know, I want to start, I'm really keeping my eye on them at the moment. Um, and this looks bloody good. And as you can see from it, it's look is is going to be exactly what you've ever used on effectively Binance or KuCoin or any of them. Um, so you can now trade solo and XRP, solo and USD. You know, there's no necessarily there's not too much of a limit. XRP and junk, XRP and X dude, XRP and equilibrium, and this will grow over time. And when it grow, and as it grows, we'll see more interesting and more tokenized assets. And that is when we should see growth in solo in the solo decks. And if we see growth in the solo decks down the down the line, there'll be a benefit to the sologenic token as well, inevitably. Um, and what could this hit? I mean, Jesus! If if tokenized assets really pick up, and it's a, such a area where there's growth potential because when you've got tokenized assets you can start doing options on tokenized assets and that the i mean the options market the derivatives market is massive it's so many more times valuable than just the underlying asset market so the growth potential is massive <clears throat> now could this hit um what could this hit? i mean we're talking about a 400 million circulating supply now. So you're looking, I still think five bucks is very, very achievable for Sologenic. That'll be in two billion market cap. I'm not saying this year, I'm saying probably in a following bull cycle after we've seen a ton of adoption. But this is definitely achievable because that market has so much money in long term that there's got to be room for this to run. Um, but I know the airdrop was hugely disappointing to a lot of people. I mean, I got piss all considering the amount of XRP I'm sitting on. Um, and, you know, these things happen. It's not, it's not the biggest deal because, you know, I didn't think you, you could see from the circulating supply and the amount of XRP out there, there was not going to be a good airdrop for many people. Um, but, other than those people that are holding 100 million XRP or 100, or, you know, billion XRP or whatever. Um, but with Sologenic itself, while the airdrop was a letdown and took way longer than it should have, um, really, I know that I know there's a huge amount of wallets. This is one that I think still has so much leg, like room up. Look at FTX's situation, like current situation. FTX is sitting on a market cap of you know six billion which is pretty good at its heights this year you know when it was 80 bucks you're talking a market cap of 12 billion or thereabouts so if x ftx can hit that level there is no reason that you couldn't see as potentially a sologenic be a tenth of the price maybe even maybe a fifth of the price um, because FTX will reach far higher heights than what it has down the line anyway. But the derivatives market is massive. And I think the next step, once Sologenic is sorted with tokenized stocks, what do you think their next step is going to be? They're not going to stop at just tokenized stocks. They'll introduce, uh, they'll introduce options. They'll introduce derivatives to these tokenized stocks. And all of a sudden, there's a Friggin' lot of money that can come into this market and Sologenic could benefit hugely. So this is one to have your eye on because 100% this can retrace like mad. Sologenic could easily drop a hell of a lot in price uh, from where it is right now. If you bear in mind that currently CoinMarketCap haven't even really updated, well, haven't updated the circulating supply. Um, so if you bear in mind, now that that's complete, 
it's about half the price it was at the sort of height um, of when the snapshot was taken or thereabouts. The snapshot was taken. No, it's a quarter. Yeah, a third of the. Yeah, about a quarter of the price of the, when the snapshot was taken. So it's still got a leg to go up this cycle, but it's definitely got still more downside room. You know, right now, market cap of 196 million, that could drop quite easily into the half. You know, you could be getting in at around 22 cents, 20 cents, maybe 10 cents um, before there's a leg up here. And this does have room because there's no way they're stopping at a DEX. There's no way. If they go, once they've got those tokenized assets, next step, derivatives, and the next step is massive pump in Sologenic. So one to watch out for, guys. That's it from me anyway. Hope you're all keeping very, very well on this lovely Monday morning, or afternoon rather. Uh, if you're new to crypto, come check out Copy My Crypto. In fact, if you've been here a while, come check it out anyway. 2021 was friggin' fantastic for myself and the members. If you want to be a part of that and make the gains, then come check it out. 2022 is set to be enormous as well. I just noticed something was. Huh. I thought that was weird. There we go. That was better. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> if you are yeah, if you're new to the market, come check it out. Um Yeah. We we had an amazing twenty twenty one and twenty twenty two. Whether it's bull cycle or bear cycle, it will be even better. Bear cycle just provides the opportunity to get in on cryptos at discount prices. And that's an amazing opportunity. Uh, I can't wait to share the cryptos. I think are going to 50, 60, 100, 200x in that bear cycle. Anyway, take it easy. Bye-bye.